Good morning. I'm your friend Scotty Ray. Odie has come aboard. Yeah, we're here. It's seven o'clock somewhere. Yes, yeah, somewhere it is. <laughs> Glad to have y'all as we begin another day. We're going to be warming up. There is a little bit of drizzle outside. Let's go ahead and cut to radar to let everybody kind of know what, what it is and where it is. Now, out to our west, we're showing more. This is that line that moved through this morning around 3 30, 4 o'clock. If you were getting wet there, that rolled through Meridian as we look here. Right about. Yeah, boy, that got upset, didn't it, Odie? Yeah. We'll have it to refresh me. that. Uh, again, we want to remind you of the incident, uh, accident that has happened on uh, I-20 there around the Queen City Truck Stop. Little incident. They may yeah. have it cleared up by now. They've been working on that for the last little bit. But uh, right about there, as we were going to zoom in at the airport exit, is uh, where that wreck happened along there. Yeah, so prayers for everybody involved there. And, and hey, prayers work. Boy, I tell you, and I brought that up a while ago. Yeah. Don't yeah. anybody be upset about yesterday with school being turned out and then the weather didn't do anything. Uh, one thing, it was, it was prayer stopped all this stuff. Prayers did it, and prayers are going to continue. Uh, we were blessed. You know, we don't create weather. No. We take all applicable information, throw it together, and try and come up with a recipe. And the recipe came out that, it was going to be bad, and it was west of us. Yes. Uh, so prayers for Scott County. Uh, 45 houses uh, damaged. Uh, we've got one loss of life, one injured uh, from this storm yesterday. Uh, so prayers I, for all them. And I almost think that they hadn't calculated. You know, it was it was a family that their their mobile home was destroyed. And two children were injured, and then and the mother was injured. So yeah. there was some more injuries that wasn't added to the, the state total. Yep. Uh, what is it? Seventy two homes statewide that are damaged right right now, and that was just the uh, original assessment. And it's time more you coming. get back out doing some more, that number's going to climb. And uh, we'll have those later today. Slidell, Louisiana, as we knew that Mississippi Gulf Coast, the south was going to get, uh, the southern portion of this was going to get more. Slidell was definitely, they haven't officially called it a tornado yet, but it done major damage to Slidell, Louisiana. And then yeah. we'll come on to the Biloxi area. And then into Bama. Bama got a lot of that. Uh, yeah. Had this been a little bit. And you know what is surprising as we brought up Scott County? There was... No tornado warning. There was uh, mm -mm. later a severe thunderstorm warning, and it shows you how quickly weather can do what it's what it wants to. It can change in a heartbeat. without without warning. So without to speak. warning, uh, this is a huge big guess. People say, you know, where well, the weatherman's only right half the time. That's all right. Yeah, because he has nothing he can pull up and say this is going to happen. Um, so hey, we were good. God is good, God is great, and God blessed us yesterday. Yes, sir, Re Bob. Uh, let's has just a, keep it going. Yeah, We'll have more to talk about when it comes to that. We're going to talk about who passed away and the circumstances uh, around that here in just a moment. Uh, that's on the way as we do that. Let's see here. Uh, we had a, a car fire last night in the Bailey community. Car completely mm. gone. And always the concern is Bailey re responded to this. Car being in the driveway next to a home, you got to get there quick. And they did. Yeah. There's a. A quick look at what was going on there. All fixed up now. Wonderful that no one Good was job. hurt. Uh, never know what that alarm's going to be. What do they call it? The bell when it goes off for a fire department if you were like Meridian? Do they still do that? Uh, so we don't do bells. Uh, we get tones. Okay, tones. Uh, yeah. Durr, durr. So things no have more. changed ding, 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 a little ding, ding. bit. Yep. So I, I need to write them and have them edit emergency. I know it's 50 years old. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we don't do that no more. Uh, things change with that. <laughs> Let's see what uh, what happens. Uh, I, I, Judge Judy says mm. she's going to sue somebody because somebody fabricated a, sh uh, a story about her. Didn't do right. Is it 
Do you like her new show? Have you watched it? I haven't it? watched it. You know, she stepped down from being America's judge there. She yeah. was common sense. She does sometimes have a uh, a little bit political different view than me. Yeah. But uh, she always did rule right in her, her she cases there. She did seem there. fair. So I was good with that. And she was a smart aleck sometimes, which was funny. <laughs> she was. Uh, we also learned nationwide yesterday that over in Jackson, Mississippi, the six police officers would get their state charges handed mm-hmm. down to them yesterday. In most cases, it ended up being almost double time. They're going to be in prison for quite a long time for what they've done. Oh, yeah. Did somebody tell me that uh, the sheriff that was sheriff during then has resigned? I hadn't I, heard that one. I, 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 don't quote me on that. I heard that in conversation somewhere, and I'm not 100% sure on that. But uh, that was a big day. All eyes were on Mississippi yesterday as we saw that. Uh, let's see what else. Um, uh, mm, this owl thing, artificial, in, I said owl, artificial intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> I looked at it wrong again. Yeah. Uh, you know, we saw that first thing with Taylor Swift where it come out where somebody had taken her face and put it with a, a nude body. Now this is starting, and this this really affects children. They're doing this in high schools to kids now. And the average person wouldn't know that it wasn't them. No, and you you know how kids are. They're going to, it doesn't matter. Uh, If they think it, then that's what's in their head, that that's who it is. They're not going to sit there and use, wait a minute. They don't have the common sense to use. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a few there. Well, that thought went out the window quick. But anyway, <laughs> you got to use deduction to realize that is really not who it's portrayed to be. God, we need to get common sense back. In we do. Show. So I don't know what they're going to have to do, but Tennessee, as we talked about a few weeks ago, is passing it where you can't use someone's voice without their, or likeness without their permission. But this uh, destroying lies is not good at all. Uh, we see yeah. that uh, this name seems to come up a lot. It has a huge, huge Mississippi tie, Natalie Holloway. I think we're all familiar with her. Mm. Remember the little creepy guy, Jordan Van Vandersloot? Vandersloot, yeah. He's been whooped in prison pretty bad is what they say. Oh. I don't think anybody's going to be upset <laughs> over that at all. Mm, no. Scotty Ray and Odie already nine minutes mm. into the hour. A beautiful day. We'll look in on that forecast throughout this morning. We're coming back with some more local things as we get into talking about the damage and things that happened in the neighborhoods. Some birthdays. We'll do those next. Make sure to get yours added to the yeah, list. Yeah, we got a little list growing. Yeah, we'll get that on. That's next. Scotty Ray and Odie. Bring on the amazing colors of spring. Al's Garden and Gift, voted the best garden and gift shop, specializes in beautiful bedding and vegetable plants, shrubs, fruit trees, hanging baskets, succulents, roses, and ferns. Freshen up flower beds with mulches, soils, sod, and pine straw. Also sprouting up unique gifts, candles, pottery, gourmet sauces, spices, and food items. Come try a cool and delicious treat by Ice Cream Factory, too. It's the perfect time to spend in the yard. Bloom with happiness. Visit Al's Garden and Gift today. Advanced Auto Glass by Joey can handle all your windshield repair and replacement needs. Service work is guaranteed and covered by warranty. Our technicians are professional, auto glass trained, and have over 100 years of combined experience. Advanced Auto Glass by Joey utilizes in-house calibrations for vehicle safety systems. Most insurances are accepted, and reliable mobile service is available in surrounding areas. Keep cars cool and secure with custom tinting, side mirror replacement, and Aquapel windshield wipers. There's one clear choice in auto glass repair. Advanced Auto Glass by Joey. Battery power made by steel. Right now, save $50 on select AK System battery tool sets. Real steel. Find yours. Nope. Hey, hey, here we are. <laughs> that kind of happens. It's like a magic quick. mirror sometimes. Isn't it? <laughs> Gotta act quick. As we mentioned, a loss of life happened in the state of Mississippi. If you haven't read this story, we pull this up of Scott County is where this went on as we look here. And, and as we get to the bottom here, here's just some of the damage. Uh, we got a lot more pictures we're going to show you this morning. But what happened? How did this person lose their life? Uh, this would be on County Road Futch. Foot Road is where this happened. 
uh, where Forrest is, due north of there, and just barely east off of Highway 35 is where it happened. Mm -hmm. And at first I thought it might be involved with one of the homes that were totally gone, but uh, it ended up being a power loss, Odie, uh, to where a person depended upon oxygen. Their home lost power, and I I, I don't even know how to say it uh, without it being... It's just awful. It's terrible. Uh, needed oxygen, lost power, and lost their life. Yeah. I want to say that she was 64 years old was the age of her. Mm. Uh, I spoke with the, the Weather Channel. They called us yesterday and wanted to know more about that. And uh, touching as the, the nation learns of this. Uh, so keep your thoughts and prayers for that family. Uh, she was um, identified, uh, let me see here, identified as uh, Miss Wilson. And uh, it, it's just, mm. Miss Shirley That's Wilson. Terrible. That's so, terrible. Those it, numbers are climb. Uh, today, once more reports get in, uh, man. You know, we we say that we prayed and and we asked for God's hands on Lauderdale County. We did, and we did. And, and I think that that did something. I, I feel strongly in my heart that 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 helped us here in Lauderdale County. Could you imagine if we all banded together and say, "Whoo"? God, come down here and help us in the United States. Mm. Let's do it in Mississippi and let him show us what we can do in Mississippi. All we got to do is put God back in school you and let the freedom of that. Of man. Mm. Do you remember watching Elf and yeah. Santa was yeah. trying to get off the ground and the, the Elf meter on there, yeah. the faith meter? That's it. That's sort of what you need. I, a little at a time. Man, Sandra, you said prayers are powerful. I, somebody else said prayers were powerful. That yeah. Was Bill Ryan. Sure did. Glad yeah, Bill is uh, doing better. We got to see him last night. Glad he's feeling good there. Yep. I see where EMEPA is going to lend a helping hand. Central Electric. A lot of power as we go north of that storm that cut through Scott County and we're yep. going to Neshoba County. Central Electric scattered all across that area. EMEPA has got their guys headed out, their linemen, to help go make repairs. We're proud of that. And Hopefully, they'll be uh, back up and get everybody back together. Now, we didn't talk about Forrest much, but I got in some pictures yesterday of Forrest. I want Man. you to look at some of this damage that happened over in Forrest. Man, it's it's a bunch there as we start f going through these pictures. Look at this. Things strode all over the place. Limbs mm -hmm. down. Uh, there at the town square. And, the, and, of course, that was a big tree there that got that home as well. As we look now. McMillan wow. Road. This is Lake Mississippi. We've all been through there. Yeah. Uh, is you have to almost tilt your head on this one. I didn't straighten the picture just right. Let me show you this. Here we go. Look at that. There is nothing left of that home. Now I've got another picture. This was right after it happened. I've got a picture in daylight of this. Look at that. Gone. That is, man. And if I am not mistaken, mm. Odie, I, I want to say this is the home where the children were injured. And the mom, I, I want, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Uh, and again, from the last report uh, that I got, doing so much better, doing a lot better. Awesome. Uh, here's a, a picture of a tree. I mean, it was just ongoing here. It, does that look like a tornado? It sure does. Uh, the National Weather Service will go out probably later today or tomorrow, this week sometime, and start doing measurements and let us know if that really was or if it was straight line winds. Straight line winds are dangerous too. Oh, that microburst, straight line winds, uh, you know, they'll be able to tell. They'll survey, uh, see what path it took, uh, about how strong it was, uh, and then give a report on that. Uh, luckily, it, it, we, we could have had a lot more injured uh, than what's been reported so far. Uh, but prayers for the team that's, that's going to be going out surveying all of this and uh, – and getting those uh, numbers back to us. All right, Larry Gill got to do some explaining. Uh oh, Larry Gill, mayor of mayor. downtown Mary in Mississippi, sent us a text. And apparently, there's a walk with the mayor on Saturday. Yeah, uh -huh. I just I don't know what it's all about there. It's going to kick off Saturday, and I don't at eight a.m. But I don't know why we're walking with the mayor. Is it just because he wants to start exercising? Or well, it, you know, he's been doing that. Well, maybe that's what it is. Oh. Uh, yeah. Mayor, let us know a little bit more about you your walk know, there. Hey. I, he's probably going to 
take everybody on a tour. <laughs> Let me show y'all how we've built. Let me show you where we've grown. Let me show you what we've got going on in the future. Yeah. Because he's got it. Yeah, we sure do. Mm. A lot going on there. So we'll find out more about that. But that's 8 o'clock for the walk with the mayor. Marion is where that's going to take place. Let me show you some more pictures, Odie. Uh, here we go. This is going to be, let me figure out what town this was in. This is going to be on uh, Whitnam, Scott County uh, is where this is. More of the same of what we're seeing. Look at the damage in the trees that are on top of this house. Man. Major damage there, as we see here. Uh, yeah. right in, in Blessing, look at that. Didn't touch it, but took the trees Ooh. up right in front. Now, that has all earmarks of looking what a tornado would look like. Again, straight line winds can do it. Straight I don't want. Straight line winds, you got to look at seeing how, where the trees, if everything's laid in one area or going the same way, you're going to have straight line wind. If they're all opposite, like a, a burst, if it just comes out like that, you've got a micro burst. And then if you've got them laid all other which way, you're going to have a tornado. Boy, if you had a diagram, you'd be incredible. Man, if I had one of them pins that could write up on the screen. Football. <laughs> this looked like the cavalry had arrived from reading yesterday. I got several pictures of this as we see it. What's that in Sam's parking lot? Backup yeah. crews. They were sitting there on go, sitting there on wait. Uh, we really expected it to be worse here, and all of that is going to be moved to the west of a Scott County and areas like that to to help out uh, Neshoba County as well. Here's some more pictures. Is This is Salem Road over in Scott County as we look at this near Forest. Boy, they had to really, and as you can tell, had to cut their way into all of this. Yeah. That that mm -hmm. little one-lane road turned into No Way Road. Yeah, that took some work to get through there. It did, and uh, there's countless pictures of this throughout our area. And, you know, with us not being affected by it, it's hard to, to imagine what it looked like. Yeah. Uh, look at this. And th this, Odie, mm. that's somebody's home gone. And the mailbox still right there. Yeah. Unscathed. Now, and I don't have pictures of Slidell, Louisiana, but Slidell, major, major. We did. Uh, trampoline? Well, it's the state bird. I thought we would show you a picture of that. Yeah. Oh, well, that tree got it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> You might could take it and bend it out. I don't know. Yeah, no. You, are you yeah. going to say that's a goner? That's a goner. You might as well make it into something else. <laughs> All right, we got information coming in from the mayor. What do we got from uh, Larry? Gale? We've got uh, this Saturday. It is a health initiative just to get everyone up and moving. We will start at the Shrines Building, hit a few blocks, and end at the Shrines Building. It's part of a grant from the Mississippi Department of Health. One of the requirements... I'm sorry it hasn't been advertised as much as it should have, but that's what we got. People can make it if they can. Yeah, I think that is great. Uh, you got a little grant to, to help out, some healthy Mississippi. Uh, and that's a, hey, that's a step forward. It, it is. I may have to so, hire me a stand-in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All you got to do is get a hat. <laughs> That's great, man. Me and you attempted to run down a sidewalk last week, and I found out, whoa, I wasn't as in good a shape as I thought. Mm. So I said, go, Odie, go, yeah. Odie. <laughs> yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. Kona Hatta, we hadn't talked about the Kona Hatta area this morning. Um, and let's, let's look at a barn in Kona Hatta. I know a lot of people that live in that area. Look at this. Mm. Man, that, that uh, gone with the wind, so to speak. Flattened. Man. Uh, front porch with major damage there. But uh, puppy dog doing okay down there at the end. Looks like he's ringing a doorbell. Get me in. I don't, I don't blame him <laughs> a bit. Here's a different view as you go down the road there. Things strewn everywhere. Wow. Into the wood line, snapped a few trees. And uh, just major damage all the way around. You know, And that brings up another subject as you see these trees broke. There's a lot of people that have invested their livelihood into their pine trees. And that is yeah. their retirement program. Yes. Do they, is, and I ask this because I don't know. Is there such thing as insurance on your pine trees in case yes, it's attacked? Yes, it is. It is? Yes. Didn't know that. Yeah. The Business farm. insurance, farm insurance. Okay. I, I learn a yeah. little more every day because, boy, that could wipe you out overnight. And if you burn some trash in your yard and it gets out and it goes to your neighbor's tree farm, 
and burns them. You talk about an expensive tree, you'll find out how expensive they are when you go to paying for them. I didn't, uh, I didn't realize that also. Oh, and it's not the value of the tree when it got burnt. It's the value of the tree in 20 years. Of when it would be cut. Okay. Of when it would be cut. Another reason not, mm. as we were going to say, not to burn today. Uh, y- 40 yeah. mile an hour gust by late afternoon. Do not burn. It's just not worth it there. Scott Ray and Odie will come back with birthdays next. Make sure to get yours on. We'll mention all of those as we get your day started. At the back porch, we're bringing families back together for fun, food, and all the things you love to enjoy around your home. Every event starts with a great grill, great cookware, and accessories. Add in some locally sourced meat and dairy, along with frozen vegetables and casseroles, and over 500 brands of spices and sauces. Relax in our chairs, swings, day beds, and have fun with our cornhole boards. From coolers to trailers, we have everything you need. When you see the big chair, you've made it to the back porch. Our local headlines are brought to you by the Rock House Gun and Pawn. Downtown Meridian is thriving with a fresh look, and now it's getting a new neighbor. Toyota Meridian is now open under new hometown leadership. We're bringing automotive knowledge and experience home with a focus on improved customer satisfaction and all new pricing. Toyota Meridian is excited to serve the Queen City and exceed your expectations. I'm Trenard Rush, and I want to invite you to Toyota Meridian, where hometown pride drives excellence. Welcome back. Another thing that was brought up yesterday, and I have it, Yazoo, Mississippi, uh, there in the county, there was a mention of a levee that possibly yeah. could break and they were evacuating people. We haven't heard if the levee still holds this morning or not. We do yeah. hope it does. Yeah, I hadn't, I hadn't checked into that and I uh, hadn't heard anything uh, out loud, so hopefully they can get that going. All right, let's do a few birthdays. We're going to be giving away said coffee mug here in just a little while. I get yeah. my fingers in the way there. Uh, thanks to our right. fine partners there, Hyundai and Meridian. You can find them up on Highway 39. Yeah, so, uh, man, we got a list going on today. Stephanie Ray Smith. Sorry, we saw that one yesterday. 40 years old. Same with Jaden Ray. Three years old. Rick Gardner with us every morning's having a birthday. Betsy Littleton Pickard is having a birthday. Ray says, uh, wish my beautiful wife a happy birthday, so, Lynn Higginbotham Swain. Lynn's having a birthday? Yeah. They never said how how many. I could guess, but I'd make uh, her mad, and it probably. <laughs> you wouldn't want to do that, huh? I can remember. Uh, Jason Dice. Uh, Shirley Mink, I believe is how that is. Chief Billy Stuckey. Uh-oh. They said he's going to be 77. Really? Yeah, he runs circles around half the people i tell you he uh that's a good man right there seth smith 22 years young today and rick mcwilliams 77 for him as well uh we've also got braxton kelly coming in with, at 20 uh so good deal so yeah if you've got a birthday today uh, send it to us let us know we'll give you a big shout out and uh and you'll be in the drawing for this here Hyundai of Meridian Scotty Ray Report coffee mug brought to you by Hyundai of Meridian. I, I go to one of our, uh, my close friends that we've got in Jackson, Mississippi, that, that, that does news as we do, Dark Horse Press. Uh, they did a story yesterday about a JPD, former JPD officer. Apparently, uh, this week there was a, a confrontation at um, an apartment complex. Someone was shot, and a former police officer did it. Instead of waiting around for the police to show up, he split, so to speak. Really split, fled the scene, as we would find out late yesterday afternoon, a little group called the Louisiana Highway Patrol <laughs> threw some blue lights on, and there was a chase. Ah, <sighs> rut row raggy. Yep, it didn't work out so well. His training that he did was not as adequate as the Louisiana State Police training there. They were able to outdrive him and take him into custody. Uh, and again, oh you're boy. innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. But here's what we have there as we look at Dark Horse Press. This is the gentleman that is accused of this, Marcus Johnson. Mm. And again, he's been taken into custody. And uh, we don't know the circumstances of what might have caused the original incident to do that. But uh, it won't be pretty uh, if this is all true. Uh, exactly. Well, mm. There's so much always goes on in, in Jackson 
that I, I can't explain. I know that they're a lot larger city than us, but it's dangerous that direction. Mm-hmm. And yeah. then you have people wanting to fight the governor to expand the powers of the Capitol Police to where they can help other law enforcement agencies. I don't understand. You'd think they'd want some help. I do. I, I, I would think that. But it's almost as if, well, we don't want you over here chasing people. And, well, you can't write tickets to, to anyone. That that ain't right. Uh, yeah. Well, that's what goes on in Jackson, Mississippi, behind the scenes. We thought we'd share a little bit of that with you. We did have some gunfire yesterday afternoon. Oh, now We can't go a day without that. No, now, no one was hurt. No one was injured. But this would be in the 1300 block of 19th Street over near Reese Court. Numerous people said they heard it. Police showed up, and they said, what do you know? And they said, I don't know nothing. I don't even know why you're here. <laughs> what? Shoot, I didn't hear nothing. Uh-uh. Let me go, let me go back inside. Bye. Uh, the TV was up too loud in the neighbor's house. Yeah, I, did, I didn't hear a thing. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> that polar bear fell on me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was a funny scene. Yes, it was. What Odie is referring to as Roadhouse, if y'all remember that, when the polar bear fell yeah, on it. Yeah, Tigger. Yeah, he was a big old boy. Yeah, Tigger, did you see anything? <laughs> Polar bear fell on me. Polar bear fell on me. Ah, so Jackson, Mississippi, that's a few of the things there. Uh, Ford recalling, if you happen to have one of their SUV, about 43,000 of these. Seems it has a little gas leak there uh, when it goes in on the ignition there, where it's causing some leaks and possibly Ooh. causing a fire. So. Might want to yeah. have it taken back to your Ford dealership if you've got one of those. It falls. That's on those Bronco Sports. Yeah. High dollar vehicles. Mm, the yeah. 22s and 23s. So if you've got one, call your local dealer. They'll tell you if yours falls under that. Yeah, Charlie, uh, you might as well go ahead and call. Uh, and you know, go somebody's ahead and get got yours one? checked out. Yeah, Charlie Dennison's got one. Oh, that's right. I forgot he yeah. does have one. Yeah, got a blue one. Fuel injection is the problem there. Got a little leak around it there. If you happen to owe a whole lot. Oh, let's move to a different story. Oh, we got an update. (laughs) What do we got? Uh, So Pac-Man's giving us an update. The home you showed belongs to Kristen Bulls Walker and Ben Walker. She had emergency surgery for broken pelvis and internal injuries. Their oldest son has a broken orbital and partial collapsed lung. Youngest was unhurt. Pray for them in the long recovery ahead and loss of everything. Donations can be given at Great Southern Bank in Decatur or Newton County Academy, home of the general. So, uh, absolutely, man, yeah. If you can uh, send us uh, an inbox and all that, we will uh, we will get something up today and with more details of where people can yeah. go. And uh, that is uh, is touching. Get with send that or get with me, Pac Man, and, and yeah. so we can get that information out. Uh, we do want to help our neighbors when they need it there. Definitely a time that uh, mm. we need to help someone in our community uh, while they're down. A lo- and it, as you saw the pictures that we showed a while ago, nothing left. Yeah. Uh, that that would even, I don't know if the word is, barely anything left on your back. Uh, that's the way to put that. We'll be right back as we get your morning underway. It's already 729 this morning. Man, we're moving right on along. It's, it's flying, Woo. Odie, there. And again, we've got a lot coming up this weekend. Let's not forget, grand opening oh. is going to be happening uh, tomorrow as we'll be headed out to a couple of places there. Parish Tractor is going to be having their big grand opening of their new building. Man, that place is big. It is. And if Man. you hadn't seen it, come yeah. by. We'll see what all they got going on there. Uh, we'll have full moon on 5th tomorrow night. Mm-hmm. Big, uh, nice Good band there. Good um, yep. Uh, as we'll take over the streets and no rain. No rain. And then Saturday, everybody will head over to Newton. It's going to be humongous as we get ready for the loose caboose. It's going to be packed. Yeah. Looking forward to all of these events and sunshine, every one of these. No mention of anything. I don't even think my teeth will shatter at the event tomorrow night. No, but you wouldn't even have to take that electric jacket you got. <laughs> I had the electric. I needed gloves and everything that first one. Everything is going to be great for this. And we'll be right back. Scotty Ray Nody. The Preserve at Meridian is the premier senior living community in the Meridian area, offering independent living cottages, assisted living, and maintain their independence and pursue an engaging lifestyle with a robust activities calendar, personalized care programs, wellness activities, restaurant-style dining, and much more. Call or visit us online today at preserve at meridian.com to schedule your personal tour. 
Collinsville, Mr. Discount Drugs, your local pharmacy and gift shop, thanks you for your continued support. Whether you shop with us in-store, through our app, over the phone, or in our drive through our team will provide the best personalized customer service experience you expect from your local pharmacy. When you call or message us, you are promptly greeted by the Mr. Discount team that's ready to help. When you choose our pharmacy, you're choosing a locally owned pharmacy that cares about you and your community. Collinsville Mr. Discount Drugs makes a difference. H&H Residential of Meridian is your number one carpet and flooring store. If you've been thinking of a new look for your home or office, call for a free estimate or consultation. H&H can install or you can do it yourself. H&H has all of your design needs from color, style, and texture. If you can dream it, H&H can make it a reality. Come see the large selection of hardwood flooring, laminate, vinyl, and even carpet. H&H Residential of Meridian open Monday through Friday, 9 to 4, 321 Hawkins Crossing Road. Call Rosemary anytime, 601-462-9541. Welcome back, your friend Scotty Ray, along with Odie. Uh, 7.30 this morning, and nice weather in store for us today. Now, don't forget, we are going to have some periods of drizzle in between now and 1 o'clock. It may not happen again, but let's just put it in the forecast anyway. After that, things will be clearing and sunshine peeking through. Mm, It's going to be nice. And Peggy says, what about T-shirts? I got some T-shirts. They're coming. uh, And we got some more coming, but I got some. Uh, send me a send me a message, mm-hmm. and then we've got it? some places that we're coming and we're going to be setting up at. Uh, the water boy. What was it that she said? A little rays of sunshine that his mama, that <laughs> Colonel Sanders said. Yeah, boy, your mama's wrong again. Mama's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> I don't. I, I, mean, I can't tell you how many times I've watched that movie, and I laugh every time like it's the first time I watched it. Yeah. Colonel Sanders, he did look like the Colonel. Oh, movie. and he did. Especially I enjoyed when it. he pulled pile driving. Yeah, you, you didn't happen today to date a, uh, what was her name? Uh, uh, Peggy. What was her? Uh, Davenport. Uh, what was her? Was oh, her the devil. Yeah. What was her the name? Devil, uh, yeah. Uh, Something Davenport wasn't golly. it? Golly. It'll come to uh, me in a minute. I can't think of You know, she ate, she grabbed that all, uh, alligator off the grill and just bit it right on the snap. Souped up his lawnmower <laughs> where he could get where he needed to go. <laughs> Vicky Valancourt. Vicky Valancourt. That's it. Golly. She showed me. Oh, I don't want to oh. talk. All right. Hey, let's go to this day in history. It was 1945, and we, we joke and we tease Greg about watching this show all of the time about it being <laughs> new to him. But it really was a good show, as we all grew to know Richard Dawson later in life. He would do uh, Family Feud, oh, Hogan, yep. of course, we knew him. But this little guy on there, I brought him up before. What is so shocking about all of this is that he actually lived through what they were joking and poking fun at on the TV show as we go back for this. 1945, Robert Clary was liberated from a Nazi concentration camp. He would go on to become an actor and be able to, well, laugh with Colonel Clink and the whole bunch about the war. But yeah. behind the scenes, he truly was one that was being held captive by that. Mm-hmm. Now, there's conspiracy theorists in our world that want to tell you that none of that existed. Don't believe it. It's hogwash. Six million people lost their lives at the hand of those people. It's history. Yeah. Should we? That's why we don't erase history, because things like that can repeat themselves. 1947, we brought up Dixie Carter yesterday. Yeah, we did. What a lady, what a a beautiful woman she was, and designing women. I don't remember what they sold, but they had this guy on there that always helped them. He was funny. (laughs) Yeah. Y'all remember him? I can't pronounce his first name. Odie, can you? Uh... Yeah, go try that. Meshach, We're going to call him Mr. Taylor. Taylor. Mr. Taylor has a birthday today. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. I did, Miss uh, Wilda. I, what are you doing? As soon as I she asked if I got her request, I, I did. Oh, I did that. Uh, as soon as I get a chance, I will. We, I was swamped two days ago and yesterday. I will get you. Of all the things that I've ever seen of a, of a moment, uh, of a picture that grabs your attention, I would have to say this one grabs my attention because... Well, 1953, this person would lose their life in the back of a 1953 caddy. Baby blue was the color of it, and I've seen Hank Jr. walk around it. But in 53, it would go number one today. You're cheating hard. We'll tell on you. And, of course, the car, the grave, Montgomery, Alabama, one of the most influential people that ever breathed a breath on this earth. At 29, done more than most will ever do in their lives. 
A legend, that is. Let's see here. Mm. Uh, Mississippi. We'll go up to the Mississippi Delta. I've met him uh, many times, and, of course, he got the state song in Mississippi. Born in 1964 in the deep Delta, Steve Azar has a birthday today. Man. Mr. Yep. Waiting on Joe, and I don't have to be me till Monday. I don't have to be me till Monday. You ever done that, Odie? Oh, yeah. You just call in sick just because you can? Well, no, I didn't ever call in sick on Monday. I just parted it up Saturday and Sunday. Oh, you were more of what was the song that, uh, what's that little guy I woke up with a hammer in my hand? Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I'm too old to. Oh, uh, uh, Wade Hayes, uh, old enough to know better, still too young yeah, to care. I, that's it. Yeah. That that does happen to a lot of people there. Oh, I'm glad that was back yonder. <laughs> back yonder. I never watched this show, but I know there's a few people that did this. And it's time. It was a big TV show. Is where you remember, uh, you remember Hazel? She was the, the maid? I never watched it myself. Me and you both on that. But it was, yeah. during its time, it was big. I don't even see it on TV land, I don't think, or any of those repeats. No, of course not. I tell you, I turned mine on, and I'm going to watch me some Matlock and some uh, <laughs> Perry Mason. Got to solve those cases with you. Yeah. It's, it's, it's the same guy every time. <laughs> it's, it's amazing how certain shows just fits your style yeah. And you have a comfort zone with those people. It's I can work and listen and watch at the same time. And know what's going to happen. Yeah. Were you a murder she wrote type guy? Well, Daddy loved it. So there was times that I'd watch it with him. Uh, and I hadn't watched it here lately, but I, I would like to catch another episode. But it was pretty cool. Uh, I bring that up cool. because I know that you like that, uh, that made for TV show, uh, Everybody Loves Saul. Yeah, not, not Everybody I love Loves Saul, that. but uh, Saul. Yeah. Uh, and do you remember why I bring up that? Murder, She Wrote? Murder, She Wrote. And if you ever watch Breaking Bad, Saul was the attorney remember. in there. Yeah. And after uh, Breaking Bad ended, he started his own show, show, Saul. And how he got his start was, it goes back to that new show, he didn't have much money and he took everything he had. And he goes to the TV station, produces his own TV show, and he well, goes... college students. At 901, this commercial is oh, going to yes. air. During murder, she wrote. Yeah. yeah. And he bought that time slot and had everybody ready to sue the nurse at home. Yeah. And it worked. Yeah. Yeah. It sure did. Oh. It was <laughs> if I were to oh. tell you, it, let me say this and see if you catch it. There's only two things in worth life worth living. Is guitars tuned and what? Women. Yeah. I think he actually mm. said firm feeling women, if I remember the line right. Something like it. Let's go to Lukenbach, Texas. It was 1977, and this would launch a legend, as we all remember this song. Waylon Jennings released that. We're Waylon and Willie mm, and the Boys. Mm, mm. The, success, the successful life we're living's got us feuding like the Hatfields and McCoys. Yeah. Between what was it, Hank Williams' pain songs? Bill and, said it was firm feeling women. Thought, <laughs> I thought that was the line. But it's been so many years since I heard. I need to fix that today. I'm going to listen to some Waylon. I'm going to be happy. Before before y'all all answer on these comments, it's yeah. hard to go back and feel through all these comments and everything else. S send us a, inbox. A, a, an inbox yep. of uh, your color, your size, and how to get in touch with you, like a phone number. All right, and, inboxes. And we'll get you, but please do that through the inbox. It's easier to go through. Yeah, Odie's eyes can't keep up with that. No. <laughs> I can't. And they're gray and pink. So. There was a, a line, and we've talked about her having a, a close connection with Meridian and Ken Randy. Yeah. She did. Yeah. Uh, when I die, I may not go to heaven, mm. but I may go to Texas. Y'all remember Tanya Tucker? It was Well, it was put out there today. She's played a bunch at the Temple Theater. She uh, has. a few times. She recorded that. That was an incredible song. It was fun, uh, something that you could sing along with. I mean, i go to heaven, but send me to Texas. That was, that was great. I really like this song. 1981, at the time, I didn't quite understand it. Valerie Bertinelli, she was a huge star. Everybody knew her. One day at a time, yeah. she was on that, and she was on nearly every cover of every magazine at the time. Isn't she uh, one of Greg's favorites? Because isn't she in all these little Christmas movies? No, I don't think. Did she do that? Does she do the. Uh, I don't think she. Fall in love during Christmas? I don't think she's on those. It's a girl that looks just like her, though. Okay. That was on. What Greg is it? will know. He knows ask, her everything. I asked Angie who that girl was last week. She told me I was right. 
where's my wife when I need her? She said you were right. Yeah. Did you write that down? Said, you better put it over there on your notepad. Because I'm we're going to do this on next year, uh, this day in history. <laughs> It's a girl that uh, she does cooking shows, is what Debbie Boswell oh. said. Yeah, do y'all remember Rachel this? Ray? She married <laughs> Eddie Van Halen. Hmm. He had more hair than she did. Yeah, it was hard to tell. If he hadn't been wearing a suit, I couldn't have told him apart. Not from the back. <laughs> no, you couldn't have. Shirts are uh, twenty-five. Alrighty then. Yeah. But um, I think of that girl who she was. Oh, Wayne, Greg, let us know. I got it. I got it. Oh. Uh, that show about that little boy, the Wonder Years, the little girl that was on the Wonder Years. Okay. She's in all of those Hallmark shows. And if you look oh. at her, you can see it. Valerie? Valerie Bertinelli. That's that one. But the, the other girl I was trying to think of there. Ah, a lot of lonely hmm. women. Cigarette. I don't know. We start talking about what we want to forget. Her life story and mine are the same. We both lost someone, and we only have ourselves to blame. So here I am again, mixing misery and gin. Merle Haggard at his best. That song was recorded. And that second song that is mentioned there, I don't even know if you know it or not. Did you watch Bronco Billy? Okay, it was the uh, worst. War- I, there's pro- I'm probably going to be put into the Hall of Shame for saying that Clint Eastwood could make a bad movie. But... But it, he did. It was pretty bad. Did you did you watch Bronco Billy? I don't. I can't remember. It doesn't, it doesn't sound like I did. Bronco Billy was this guy that rode around America, and it had a good good thing to it. He went around to boys and girls clubs, and he done free cowboy shows, just like the Wild Wild West. And his name was Bronco Billy. Yeah, I missed that one. And he went to the nuns, and you did Bronco Billy. Come on. And anyway, they uh, they done a song. Merle Haggard and him uh, recorded a song today called We're Barroom Buddies, and that's the best kind. Well, Clint didn't actually sing. He actually said his lines. But the song went number one, and it was part of the, the theme music to Bronco. Okay, I'm going to hush up about Bronco Billy. Nobody else watched it either. But we did get, we've got a few of come back and say, Danica McKellar. She's the one that plays in all these I Hallmark was, stuff. She, Okay. Okay. Mm. But that's who... Th- th- I remember her. Hmm. All right. Sandy said, but it was a good story. And that Clint's too good to be bad. I know. And that movie, it really... Because he had a great theme to it. He was helping little boys and girls. But it, he had that, that woman that he thought was pretty that wasn't. Sandra. <laughs> What's her face? Oof. Bullet. No, 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 no. We went to uh, Sandra. I'll think of her name in a minute. She looked like the part of this Fred Sanford said, did you pull off the Polaroid? Oh, yeah. You know, oh. yeah. she was in uh, Josie Wells. Mm. Okay. You have to sneak up on that with a light off. Locke. Sandra Locke. Oh, her yeah. Name. Yeah, yeah. She is kind of, mm. yeah. Clean as well. But she did mm. fit the, there we go, Bill hey, knew. Bill knew who it was, too. Yeah. Got a if I were to tell you there's a full moon over Tulsa and I hope it is shining on you, well, did you know what I'm talking about? I've heard the song. Oh, boy. I worked 10 hours on a John Deere tractor thinking mm. of you all day. Well, there it is. It went number one in 1981. Probably the best song that those two ever did. 1986. 1986? Okay. I was close. 81, 86. Same, same, same uh uh, decade. You know, when, when uh, Blake was married to Miranda, they done it as a duet on stage somewhere. They were both from Oklahoma. And, well, that marriage didn't What if I'll do that again? <laughs> I kind of doubt that. That's over. Uh, th- this is another genre, if I said that correctly. Music. Very close. <laughs> is it a different word? Genre. Like John and then Druh? No, like John and then Ruh. Ruh. Yeah. Like Ruh. Ruh. Yeah. John, John Ruh. Ruh. Yeah. yeah. John see? Ruh. Leave right. that other G off. Boy, I like my own language better. <laughs> but in 1987, this old girl was born. She's big in other forms of music that I don't know anything about. Josh Stone was born on this day. Never forget my love, says the name of the album. Oh, I couldn't identify it a lot up if I had to. <laughs> Bless her. She's got pretty hair. She got That's what you call fair hair, isn't it? That is some fair hair. There you go there, setting the standards of today. Mm. Let's see here. 1987, he was not really funny to me, but he did make the cover of TV Guide today. Bob Newhart. Oh, Bob this Newhart. This is 
my brother Daryl and my other brother Daryl. <laughs> I'm Larry. Did they? Not, yeah. It kind of reminded you of the three characters when you go back to the uh, to Andy Griffith show, The Darlings. How those boys never talked. Yeah. Uh, that's kind of how it was. There. Let's see what else happened today, Odie. Uh, let's see. It was 1987. This album went number one, and um, she was tough. I'll say that because she was an 80s lady. KT Oslin went number one with her album today. If y'all remember her, she's passed away since then. Uh, 1987, we also had a number one with You've Got the Touch. Y'all remember Alabama? Oh, that moves Alabama. me so much. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I remember that one pretty well, too, there. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Trace, yep. he's here. He's a big old boy, as he had a number one song. Songs About Me. Where he meets the guy on the airplane. He stands up for our military, too. He does, and I respect that. This guy, you may have loved him, Odie, but his sense of humor was not mine. Uh, not really. But uh, you may have liked it. He, uh, he had some funny stuff, but then he had some that was just way out. Maybe he was. this was the episode where he appeared on Mork and Mindy. Yeah. Jonathan Winters. Nanu, nanu. I don't, know, Jonathan, I don't know. Jonathan Winters just was not my favorite type that was out there. I, I know that he was big. Don't get me wrong. Well, not just the size. Right. But, yeah. Know. Yeah. He had a big name there. <laughs> he was on Johnny Carson once or twice <laughs> during his life there. Yeah, he was. All right. Uh, Sandra Locke. We got a lot. Josie yeah, Wells. Josie Wells. Greatest Western of all. Talking time. about the history. We got a couple more of these. Of uh, history makers today. Yeah. Rayleigh Turk coming in at the Big 17. And Tim Craddock's having a birthday today. Man, uh, Charles so come on in here. brought up thing. Sandra was also, if everybody remember, you can't help but know Eddie Rabbit's. You turn me every which way. Yep. Sandra yep. Locke was also in that with Clint Eastwood and every which, with the monkey. Right turn, Clyde. With the, uh, yeah, that's the orangutan. Yeah, yeah. Now, didn't them two get married, Clint and Sandra? They, they dated a thing or something. Oh yeah, for years it was like his girlfriend of thirty years, and then one day he woke up and says, "Bye." They may have been married, Ooh. but I thought they just kind of hung out together, well, so right to speak. Then. All right, now, Mark says mm. he didn't marry her. Oh, well. One day that ended abruptly. It was yeah, all he over. woke up. To, Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I think I hit my head. Yeah. Boy, I sobered up. <laughs> <laughs> Scotty Ray Hogan, we'll be right back. <laughs> Your next appliance is waiting on you at All Temp Appliance and Refrigeration on Highway 19 North. If you've been trying to locate a freezer, drop by and see their big selection of upright and chest freezers. A showroom full of stoves, gas, and electric. Maybe it's a new refrigerator from large double doors to the simplest of refrigerators. Name brand washers and dryers like Speed Queen, Amana, and delivery is available. With a great service department to back up what they sell. Open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5 p.m., and by appointment after hours and weekends. Fantasy Cottage Floral and Gifts is located in downtown Quitman, directly across the street from the post office. They are your one-stop shop for all of your floral and gift-giving needs. They have everything you need to make those you care about feel special, from a fully stocked gift shop to roses, mixed flower arrangements, and plants, whether it be a special occasion or just because. Remember them in your time of need for all of your funeral floral arrangements. Call on Fantasy Cottage Floral and Gifts at 601-776-3010. Summertime has arrived and Freeman Tractor on Highway 494 has the exact lawnmower for your need. If you've got a big yard with acres and acres to mow, they have a mower for that. No matter the size yard you have, Freeman Tractor has the lawnmower that fits you and your budget. From 48 inch all the way up to 60 are the X Mark lawnmower. Plenty of these to choose from. Also, they carry a complete line of LS tractors. Come by for a test drive today. Financing available. Drop in today to Freeman Tractor, Highway 494, see coleslaw or buttermilk. Welcome back, your friend Scotty Ray, along with Odie. Uh, this is one of those being at the right place at the right times in Mississippi that you could ever be. Boat captain, about 25 miles offshore, there where the sound is, notices, mm -hmm. what's that in the sky? It's a bird? Oh, it's a plane going down. Fishermen Ooh. saw it happen. They went over, took their boat, and rescued four people as it went into the water there. So a big salute to them. Uh, the name yeah. of the company was Coastal Water Outfitters as they were out on a fishing expedition and saw that. It's, 
always good to have a great story and ending there, isn't it? Yeah, being at the right place. Lord put them right there for a reason. It sure did there. Now, mm. uh, as we go to Tupelo, we got someone you never know when when you read a story as to mm. someone being getting in a little bit of trouble. I think there's more to this than meets the eye. We have some, a woman that was arrested for allegedly withdrawing some money from an account. Well, number one, she had to have yeah. access to the account. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that there were some family issues that went on here and more to it than meets the eye. Yeah. So that, that's what I know. Mm. Uh, Gulfport, as we were talking about wind damage uh, from yesterday, we'd find out that a mobile home was destroyed in Gulfport also. As we talked about Slidale, that area there, we had a home destroyed there also. So mm, uh, mm, mm, mm. Uh, let's see what else is shaking here. Lightning strike right after that, after that home was destroyed, another home was hit by lightning. And you know as Ooh. well as I do of just how deadly lightning is. Oh, man, it, it is. It now, is. With, do we still, and that's why you have that piece of uh, pipe drove into the ground near your power meter to ground your home. It goes at least six foot down into the ground. Uh, uh, it's where it travels. It takes that right back down into the earth. Awesome. Make sure that you've got that around you, your place. Yes, you better have that. Man, it can destroy televisions and everything in your home if your house gets struck by electricity. Even with that. Yeah, so, yeah, it still can get hit, yep, can it? It can still take care of your electronics. So uh, mm -hmm. we uh, we uh, we want you to be on extra because it's a lot of lightning in these storms. Uh, Stark Vegas got a big name from uh, the folks over at where's that? Uh, the USA Today. Y'all remember that newspaper? Yeah. They have known Stark Vegas as the best small town in the South. That's pretty distinguished well, over there. Yeah. What is it? Man. Maybe twenty thousand at uh, Starkville. Twenty five thousand people or so. Yeah. Big university, yeah. but that's a big mm. deal there. Now, the best small college town in America went to Oxford. So Mississippi got two mentions there, best small town and then best small town college. Well, that is pretty cool for Mississippi. Yeah. Voters Man. of the USA Today voted on we're that. We're first on places to live and we're last in education. Well, that's true. Yeah. Do we not have something in order? Yeah. We ought to fix that, shouldn't we? Mm. And then my next yeah. question would be this. Has the readers of USA Today, like everything else, been kind of cut in half? I know I know. when I used to travel, you'd wake up and it was waiting at your uh, motel door uh, and they yeah. would put it there. Yeah. I'm not so sure that that even happens anymore. I don't know what I think got. that has, that has uh, gone to the wayside. Yeah. Yeah. We got a guy that's uh, been arrested in Jackson for renting a vehicle. He just sort of forgot to return it. Oh, oh my bad. They come with an end date. <laughs> <laughs> that that really does happen more than you think, and sometimes it can be confusing, uh, as in they thought it would extend on their credit card. Uh, I've seen that happen to where they paid with a credit card and thought the charges would just extend past the date, and then yeah. like twenty cop cars surround them. They go, "Wait a minute, I'm innocent." It happens a lot with U-Hauls. Yeah, that's where I was going with that. <laughs> I just wanted to keep it a couple more days. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't be robbing banks in Mississippi either. Durant, Mississippi, to be uh, a little bit more direct on this. Well, you're in, uh, I'll, well, I'll go ahead and tell you. It's kind of like trying to pay off a car. Instead of 48 months, you got 44 months to think it over. And here's the bad part about this. 44 uh, months for a bank robbery? Yeah, but let me tell you what he stole. Okay. $6,500. Is that worth four years of your life in jail? Depends on no, how bad but, you it. but still, it, it's kind of like, you robbed a bank. It sure did. It doesn't. Wow. 44 months is what he got on that. Uh, I really would have thought it would have been like a 10-year sentence automatic if you go into a bank. That's kind of where I'm going. Because if I go rob a bank and I get $20 million, I ought to get just four years. And I don't know if it goes on dollar amount. I don't, I don't know how that actually yeah, works there. And that's federal. So you know you're in, you go to federal prison. You know you ain't doing that. That's right. You're at the hair, uh, the hotel. Yeah, it's not going to be. And you don't typically think of an elderly person. And when I say elderly, this is not old, old, but it's certainly not a young man. A 61-year-old man didn't stop for cops. They threw on the blue lights. He just kept right on going. <laughs> If this was in Collins, it's Collins, Mississippi, oh, which is due south yeah. of us. Yeah, he kept driving. He just whooped right up into the hospital parking lot. And then it was like, 
It's like, man, I'll just come see my doctor. And then uh, they put everything on lockdown as precaution, but he was arrested and taken off to jail for not stopping. He got a slew mm. of charges. And that fleeing is not a charge to play with. You will get a little time over that. Blue yeah. lights come on, stop. See what they want. Mm. I just yeah. can't imagine. A lot of the younger people have items in the car that uh, they would rather get rid of before they stop, I think is what it amounts to. Uh, a lot of that is that. Uh, you know it yeah. as well as I do there. Yeah. Mm. Uh, let's see what else is happening across here, across America today. Is, uh, let's see. We get into... Uh, did you hear about this little 14-year-old boy? No. Uh, this would happen in Wyoming as we look at headlines in America today. 14 years old. You know how this is. You go on a, what you would call a semi-day at 14. Mm. You go to the movies. And it was a group of people that started picking on her, and he stepped in front and was stabbed to death. 14 years old. The family is distraught, and they should be. This is horrible. This could happen in America there. He was stabbed yeah. twice in the stomach, Odie. Uh, and they're, wow. they're hailing him as a hero for protecting her. Uh, it was a group, and we, as you call it, a group. That's really a gang. I don't care how you... Yeah. Word, yeah. Yeah, that's that's what happened there. That's that's what we have to pass along to that. Mm. Uh, cruises, as a lot of times people accidentally fall off, but we see this where a 20-year-old man jumped on purpose to his death off of a Royal Caribbean cruise line. Not much coming back. Those things are tall, aren't they? Uh, ship, yeah. Like 20 stories in some cases? Some of them, and especially now Royal Caribbean got some tall ones out there. Uh, yeah, I mean, you it doesn't take much to get 100 feet off the, the water. So he lost his uh, his life there. Uh, we, we certainly Man. hate that. And don't think the 14-year-old died on that other story. He no, didn't die. No, the, oh, the, girl, the boy, yes, he yeah. died. Oh. He was stabbed and died. Oh, oh saving it. Man. Yeah, okay. he sure did. So, Wow. So that's why I said he's being hailed as a hero, protecting the little girl that he was with. There. Yeah. But again, a group, and mm. it was at a mall type situation where all that went down. Scotty Ray and Odie as well. We'll per perk things up and get away from the bad stuff. Yeah. yeah, we'll be right back. We got a coffee mug to give away here in just a moment. Have you gotten your name into us? You still got a few seconds there. If you got yeah, a birthday hurry, anniversary, hurry. Yeah. get that to us. We'll be right back. Paris Kubota, 2401 Jimmy Rogers Parkway. Friday, April the 12th, come see us for our grand opening. We're gonna have barbecue from right here in Meridian, $500 off select tractors, free VIP Talladega race tickets, demos on selected equipment, as well as 10% off of all rentals. Stop in and see us Friday to April the 12th for our grand opening right here on Jimmy Rogers Parkway. Rock House Gun and Pound, located at 5430 Highway 19 North, is ready for spring. From weed eaters to push and riding lawnmowers and one of the largest selections you'll find in chainsaws, along with power tools and generators for backup power. Maybe you're in the market for a TV or maybe a guitar. And not to mention a large selection of diamond rings and Louis Vuitton purses. The Rock House Gun and Pawn even has a private lobby for your pawns for confidentiality. Visit them today, Highway 19 North, Rock House Gun and Pawn. The Precast Group, offering you the best selection when it comes to a storm shelter. Located on 145 South in Meridian, where they offer above-ground shelters that can be installed in your home as you're built-in, are conveniently located right outside your home if it's already built. They also offer storm shelters that can be installed in a slight bank or on flat ground. Protect your family today with a very affordable storm shelter from the Precast Group. Highway 145 South, 601-482-0003. The Precast Group. Welcome back to friend Scotty Ray. My wife did answer. She said that little girl off of uh, the Wonder Years name was Winnie, and she is the one that's in all of those shows there. Mm. Oh. Something on there. Yeah. Well, when it comes to buying a home, this is what you need to remember. They're great folks there. Snowden and Company, they're right here in Lauderdale County taking care of anything. If you're looking for a business and you need a storefront, talk to them. They can find it for you. If you've reached that age to where your house is just plumb too big for you and you need less rooms to clean, 
talk to them. They'll sell your home and find you one that fits what's going on in your life right now. A lot to look at and choose as we see you can just about get any size, shape, anything that you're looking for. Any school district that you need, they've got it for you. From small town to large town, from here to Flowood, they'll take care of you there. Lake Ross Collins, the list goes on and on from West Lauderdale area on up. Any style that you're looking for, see them. 453-3937. Talk to her and her friendly sales staff. Help you in so many ways. Amanda, they're open till 5 o'clock this afternoon. Make an appointment for Saturday and closed on Sunday there. Odie, what do you got going on over there? I'm just trying to get ready for here in just a minute. And we've got Debbie Coker's having a birthday, adding her to our list. So um, we're getting there. I say this, and with all sincerity, is, is we try to track headlines across America. Um Biden says that Vietnam motivated him to go stop wars as being president. He left off where that was. Uh, he dodged um, going to sign up to go help, as yeah. most Americans would tell you that. I just thought I'd, what do they call those back in the day? Draft dodgers? Draft is, dodgers. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, Bill, like Bill Clinton. Clinton. Yeah. I'll just run to another country. Yeah. It, uh, not everybody. It, the military is not for everybody. Yeah. And again. But if you purposely dodge it, then that becomes something else. I wouldn't do so well out there. That, I'm not going to lie. I probably, I'm not trained to be an American soldier. I respect them beyond and above everything. That's why I joined the Navy. What did they say? Oh, I got to stay on the water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but there's one problem with staying on that water. Because mm. I watched, uh, what was it, his name? Uh, Clark Gable in that movie there where they were on that ship. <laughs> <laughs> you can't yeah. dodge it, Odie. No, but you can shoot that dude down. Man, that uh, and it is a different light. I even hear the submarine thing is even worse than being just on a ship. Yeah, and no, I ain't going on one now. Because you're below deck at oh, all times. No yeah. sunshine, no nothing. No, you don't get anything. Mm. You way down there. Yeah, I, nope, stick me on you the You were ship. more the down periscope type thing. Yeah. No, down periscope is the submarine. Yeah, yeah. We on top. Yeah, the aircraft carrier type thing. Uh, yeah, I was on uh, USS Inchon LPH uh, twelve, which is a landing pad for helicopters. Oh, okay. We carried helicopters and Harrier jets, so we were a little smaller than a, a regular uh, aircraft carrier where they slung shot the planes off and and then they actually landed like you do at an airport. Uh, the Harrier jets can take off like a regular airplane, but then they can land like a helicopter. You know, it, which brought me, because I saw a picture yesterday of this guy, and it reminds me of a movie that I saw. Gene Hackman. He's, I think he's 94 now. I saw a picture of him wow. at a gas station yesterday. Still getting around, but he was in one of the best movies I've ever watched. Did you ever see Behind Enemy Lines? Yes. Where he was the captain? Yes. Of the... Uh, Aircraft carrier? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm trying to think of the name of it. Behind enemy lines? No, I'm talking about the aircraft. Oh, that they had? <laughs> I don't know. It was the USS something. Yeah. But it had a great story to where, as a human, he had to make that decision to save someone's life or to follow orders. And well, yeah. at the end, he chose someone's life, done the right thing, and they took his boat away from him, but he so done the American do it thing. All. Yeah. It, it was good. All right, Odie, let's Man. give away a coffee mug. Ooh, let's give away a mug. Let's go. Uh, I wasn't. I wasn't ready for that. Oh, one. I wanted I'm to pretty... make sure. That's all right, because I wanted to make sure we got everybody in here. All right. Well, we got a few. Uh, so, uh, so anybody I good. need to read while you're doing that? Uh, uh, no, I think we got all the way down to the end. So here we go. Dun 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 dun. Ooh, Who's gonna one, be our winner two, three, today? Three, four. Betsy Littleton Pickard. Happy birthday. Miss Pickard, your husband Ray said he wanted to wish you a happy birthday, and he has won you a mug. There, there you go. Look at there, one of these Hyundai of Meridian Scotty Ray Report coffee mugs. So, a happy birthday, Miss Betsy. I hope you have a great day. So, go by there and get that mug from Hyundai Meridian Highway 39 North. Wayne, and, and, and let me say this before we go, because I, this comes from the heart on this. Wayne Roberts says he was drafted in 1969. Yeah. There is a huge, huge difference. And as we go back to remember our Vietnam vets, when they were coming in so many times, they were spit at and disrespected. These guys were just like yeah. you and I sitting here today. And then one day they get a little piece of paper in the mail that says, you've got to leave home. You, got you to will to, join. Yeah, yeah. And you've got to go overseas and fight. Now, did they want to go? Mm -hmm. No, but they stood up. 
not everybody went over and done their patriotic duty. What we just have the presidents that we've had in the past right. are the ones who said no. We have guys now that sign up for it. That's willingly. They know what they're going to do to go fight. When you sign the dotted line, it's not you understand it. This was a group of people at that given time. Uh, they had draft boards set up in America, small towns that chose who would go. And you think about this, Vietnam, World War I, II, you knew if your name was drawn, there was a strong chance that you wouldn't come back. They did their patriotic duty. Uh, we support those guys and ladies who were all involved in this. I don't want to leave anybody out on that. That's but uh, if anybody that was drafted, I have a ultimate, ultimate respect for. You're dang right. Mm-hmm. Man, it's something. I'll tell you somebody else I, mm-hmm. I like a whole lot. Let me show you this picture. This guy right here, Chet's painting body. If you got any damage in the storm yesterday, go by and see Chet and his friendly staff. 737-2961. You'll find them in the curve there right over by the reservoir. We can't miss them in Center Hill. If you have any damage, a wreck, talk to them. They'll get your car back right. Ooh, and it's going to look good when you do get it back. That's right. Man. Well, Odie, we need to uh, leave with something that's always important to us. And Well, it's a Bible verse to get us on our way for the day. Yeah, we uh, we really do feel like uh, feel like God has blessed us, uh, blessed me, blessed the show, yes, blessed sir. the county, keeping us safe, and that's something that we're going to continue to uh, talk about God. And today we're going to go to Titus two, chapter eleven, verse eleven. For the grace of God has appeared that offers salvation to all people. It teaches us to say no to ungodliness and worldly passions and to live self-controlled, upright, and godly lives in this present age. While we wait for the blessed hope, the appearing of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us to redeem us from all wickedness and to purify for himself a people that are his very own, eager to do what is good. Woo! We're strong there. Man, that is strong. And uh, keep him in your heart today. We'll be back for Friday. Join us and wear your red tomorrow and show your respect to our military, the ones that are across the pond and in other areas of the world, to remember everyone deployed. It's Friday. Weekend's coming. Have a great day. And remember, we love you. The Scotty Ray Report is brought to you by our following partners.